What is going on, guys? Hey, I want to come back to you this afternoon and bring you a clip from JLP show yesterday, his radio show yesterday. And this clip, man, he's talking about what is in the world, what you see in the world, going on the world, is in you as well. You know, because we're a part of the world. We are the world. You know, the world is us. But, um, yeah, he was, you know, talking about that. That was really kind of a um, a good clip, man, that I wanted to put up. And I wanted to, uh, to, you know, everyone to hear because, man, I thought it was a really good clip and um, really helpful clip. But, hey, guys, if you would, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks. And so what you see happening with these people, the media, the government, the uh, whatever, that's what's happening in your life too. It's no different. It's just not on TV. And it's just not played out in a big way. But human beings are wicked, evil to the core. And that's why... God said, you cannot trust an angry man. Do not trust an angry man. I don't care if it's your wife, your husband, your children, your friends, your family members. And if a person is angry, just know, be careful what you do and say around them because at some point they will turn on you. They will build an armor against you. They will try to destroy you. And it's not them, but it's that evil nature of the heart it has not been changed i mean, say that over and over again you know people they're angry including myself man want to build an army against people you know it's something again man like i said i've noticed in my life i've noticed myself that i've done that you know if i manage somebody I will build a, uh, I will build kind of a coalition against those people, or want to anyways. I gotta be once I become aware of it, I, I stop. But it's it's, and again, man, I don't think that we can really change anything on our own, which is why I think he's right on this, you know. I don't think we can really change anything on our own, but we can become aware. We can become aware, and when we become aware, when we bring that awareness to it, we bring God into the situation. And I remember, man, a... Um, mentor of mine was telling me that you know we can't again kind of like what jesse says we can't change anything on our own but we can become aware of ourselves and of our actions and uh yeah so but yeah i've noticed that within myself man i've noticed that within others that we tend to build armies against people or tend to want to build armies against people if they disagree with us, if we're angry at them. You know, I, I, I um, caught myself in the last month and a half or so, month, I guess, or just over, I, was, I, was, I became upset with somebody. And I caught myself, man, and like no, nope, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say one word to anyone about anything to do with any of this. And it worked out on its own, but I had to step back and had to be willing to see myself and to see that I wanted to. Um, I wanted to, to tell people. I wanted to build people to to get people against this person even though they weren't actually going to interact with this person. I still wanted to get people against them. But yeah, I mean, that's something I think we need to be aware of because when we can become aware of it, it can be changed. It has not been born again. 
That's why human beings try to hurt one another. They are evil. Until they are born of the spirit of God, they are of the spirit of the devil. And they are evil. And they evil, the devil, get joy out of trying to destroy another devil's life or anyone else's life. You're dealing with evil, folks, in yourself until you overcome it and inside of others. And I know a lot of people don't want to believe that human beings are wicked to the core. You don't want to believe that your mama is evil. You don't want to believe that grandmama is evil. You don't want to believe that daddy or granddaddy or Uncle Joe or Uncle Da 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 are evil. But all human beings are evil. All human beings are born of the spirit of the mother, through the mother. And it's not her spirit, but it's the devil's spirit that made a home in her. All human beings are evil until they forgive. Because forgiveness is what they call repentance. It's that meaning that you're wrong for hating. And then you will be born of the spirit of God. And now your spirit will be of good. And God is good. It's not like you'll be good, but at least you won't be of evil. Your heart will be pure. And then you wouldn't try to get life from anyone else by hurting them. But human beings are wicked. So what you see the government doing, look at this woman, this man's wife, Biden's wife. From, from looking at it on the outside, it's, it looks like she doesn't care about this man. As long as she can get attention, she is the wife of the president. She doesn't care that he's been made a fool of. And now they are deliberately, appears that they are deliberately trying to get rid of him for somebody else to run. If Biden had never admitted that he was going to run for president again, he probably wouldn't be having this problem because they would expect that he would be out. And if you, this is so important because you really need to get to know yourself so you can see the same thing is happening to you because you have not overcome evil. When you overcome evil within yourself, these things cannot happen to you. It's impossible. You know, I'm going to cut a video right here, but, man, another thing I was thinking, too, was one thing I've noticed, and again, man, I am just kind of coming to certain places myself. But one thing I've noticed, man, is, like, like when I understand that when somebody is arguing with me or to, or I feel like I'm being attacked and I get upset, that's the darkness inside of me, the 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 not me reacting to the darkness inside of them. You know, that darkness inside of them is what their anger is, is coming from. And me getting offended is a darkness inside of me. Man, if I didn't have if I did not have that, I would not get offended. It wouldn't bother me. Because I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have that inside of me. I would know that they're not attacking me. They're not yelling at me. They're not upset with me. They they can't hurt me. They're attacking a part of me that thinks I'm somebody. That thinks I'm I'm that thinks I'm I'm correct. Maybe I am correct. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if I'm correct or if I'm not correct. You know, if if somebody doesn't want to understand it, doesn't want to see it, it doesn't matter. Man, it doesn't matter. It's not for you. Man, don't listen to me. Click off, you know, whatever. But anyways, you know, just my thoughts. But hey, guys, if you would, please like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> You son of a You son of a You son of a